hi you guys welcome back to my channel planning and teaching um today's video is going to be a very quick plan with me in my teacher planner we we are still in the month of september so i'm gonna go ahead and pop out those two pages and go ahead and label this this is week six okay um and i'm still working with my old labels i do have a video coming um hopefully this week with the new labels created and and then i am going to um attempt to try to get my printer working at some point but it has been a uber busy weekend and um the life of a teacher and new mom is super hectic and busy no complaints love what i do and i love my little guy um but sometimes you just don't have time to get everything done that you need to get done so um the labels have fallen by the wayside so as you can see i'm just relabeling everything like i always do and i'm going to call this mall groups okay first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and grab a quote from this and while i'm flipping and looking i'm going to go ahead and let you know that you're going to get two for one today even though today is teacher tuesday my mini mania monday did not get up um and so therefore i had to take um had to record both of them and edit them and get them uploaded within the same time frame so i'm going to grab these to this quote here and put it here mama said there will be days like this because my week started my week started so hectic um just had a super busy weekend and so I wasn't able to do all the things that I wanted to do. All right, so I flipped through a couple of books and I found this first date of fall sticker. So I'm gonna grab it. And I'm going to put it under teach and reteach. I'm going to put that there. Um, that took a while. It took a long time to find that. But if you're looking for it, it's in the Green Sweet Life Teacher Edition. Uh, I need a couple of quotes this week. I love this better days are coming they're called saturday and sunday then i need a couple of to-do stickers i'm gonna lay those over here in preparation for all of the things that i have going on all righty so in reading There will be a test this week. Let me go ahead and do this first. Let's see, we go to the library on Wednesday. We go to the computer lab on Thursday. Okay, put that there. Um, no conferences or anything like that going on. Um, so, Monday, we are reviewing vocab, spelling, and we're going to set up our reading response notebooks. Tuesday, we are talking about text structure, and we're looking at sequence. 
Um, and we also discussed ask and answer strategy. Um, on Wednesday, we will still be covering sequence. We're going to talk about complex sentences, I believe. And we're going to talk about Greek roots. Thursday, we are going to review. Um, and we're going to do lots of small groups. And I'm just going to put a little arrow so I can put some notations under small group. And then on Friday, we are testing. So I'm going to grab a testing sticker. Because, because there are a ton of testing stickers. Okay, so I'm just going to grab this one and put it here. So we're testing Wonders Week 4. Okay, so for language none we are going to be reviewing parts of speech compound sentences we are going to be reviewing complex sentences is reviewing describers and then we're going to quiz on Thursday Friday I'm going to be doing just a copy teach repeat sticker for this one for writing, we are going to be reviewing good sentences. Tuesday, we're going to be learning better sentences. On Wednesday, we're going to do some prompt writing as well as um, uh, a pre-writing for a narrative assignment that we're going to be doing. We're gonna be building stamina. For narrative writing. For Thursday and stamina building on Friday. And if you guys want to know more about um if you guys want to know more about stamina building writing, please go to my blog, click the card that's up on the screen right now, and I did a blog post for today's Teacher Tuesday talking about building stamina in both writing and reading. So please go check that out. So in social studies this week, we are going to be reviewing Columbus and finishing other explorers. Um, and I decided to use, let me see if I can put my hand on them. I have two full sheets of assignments, important and due date. And I'm going to grab these assignment sheets and I'm going to use these stickers to identify when I am taking something for a grade. 
So they have an assignment and it's going to be their crossword puzzle. Okay. Um, we are reviewing Think and Review chart. And it is also an assignment. And I'm going to put due and put an arrow for the day that it's due. We also have a test on that day. And I'm going to stick with my green theme and just put test here. Week four. And then start week five. New article with questions. Review and new article. Okay, so once again, if you guys have not seen my other videos, um, you don't know that um, we use newspapers to teach social studies and they are awesome. They are filled with great content. They have a lot of good exercises and activities for the kids to complete. Um, so in there a week long and so that's why it says new article and then review new article. So what I like to do is I like to review for the previous day. So for example, this week we were discussing early explorers and the first article that we read was on Columbus. So I like to review Columbus and then talk about the other explorers here. And then I'm going to review the entire um, newspaper and do the think and review chart because it's the last activity that you complete before you take a test. So each article on the next day, I kind of review over the things that we talked about and get any questions that they may have answered. So talking about reteaching here. So some things that I really no noticed that I kind of want to focus on for reteaching and I'm going to just put some important stickers here. I want to review cause and effect. Um, I know some, some test scores that weren't really up to par, so I wanna review cause and effect. And then I want to also, and I like to schedule my review, my reteach days on Mondays, so it'll be following a major test here. And then I also like to schedule them on Thursdays because it's right before. And so I'm going to review text structure. And I have multiple ways of doing that. And if you guys are interest, interested in a blog, if you guys are interested in a blog post about how I reteach, let me know below. And I will definitely get that up for you for next week's Tuesday tip. So for next week's Tuesday's tips. So the next thing we're going to do um, is talk about small groups. So I've been just kind of doing a lot of reading and research on small groups activities and the things that you do to complete those. Um, and if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. I do not do small groups on Monday. I have small groups on, Monday, on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And so I'm going to just use some check marks to identify the groups that I'm going to be working with on those days. So I'm going to be working with my low group low one and low two and i'm going to meet with my middle group also okay 
Then I'm going to meet with my, I have a mid to high level group that kind of fall in between high and middle. And I have a high group. And then I'm going to meet with my middle kids again. Okay, and then I'm going to meet with my low one group. And this is going to be a 30 minute. So I put 30 in parentheses. And this one's going to be a 30 minute for low two. And so I'm going to break down all the things that I'm doing in my small groups once I get a good, nice rhythm going, okay? So then I want, I'm going to grab this beautiful lavender hello sticker and put that there. And so some things that I want to work on next week um, is new labels, definitely. I want to work on paper organization. And these things right here are just like, these are the things that I want to do to make my life easier. Um, grouping. and routines. I wanna review some routines with my students because we're starting to kind of fall off a little bit. So I like to always review on a regular basis, at least once a week. Okay, so the super, super important things that I want to do, and I'm gonna label those with this gold important sticker. I need to Update grades, um, hand out folders, send home some grades, and then I need to complete some book cards. and establish small group schedule and routine. Okay, so I'm gonna put something there just because it has that space there. And I'm just gonna put a clipboard here. And I'm gonna put on my clipboard, well, and it's covering up my check mark, so I don't want that happening. So I'm gonna put the check mark over some. So here I'm going to put, um, Reteach schedule. Tier documents. And tier schedule. Just to remind myself to do all of those things. Okay. So, that's going to wrap up my plan with me in my teacher edition next month next month my goal for next month is to we have about we have one more week remaining or two more weeks let me think no we have one more week remaining in um the month of september 
And so one of the things that I am going to make an honest effort of is to do a monthly spread in all of my planners just so that I will have a layout of the things that I have planned. And the things that I want to focus on is definitely doing a monthly spread, utilizing all of the monthly spreads as well as um, utilizing this goal sheet here. I think it would be very um, beneficial to complete those. So next month, I am going to, one of my goals is going to be to utilize and do a monthly spread in my teacher planner as well as a monthly dashboard and set some goals and kind of lay some things out that I have going on. So stay tuned for that. So you'll have extra videos um, week after next. So you guys, thanks so much for watching. Keep God first in everything you do. Please give this video a thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or you would like to see something please let me know i'll be happy to do the video with no issues um i also try to respond to each and every one of my messages either with a like or with an actual reply um so you guys if i skipped you let me know and i promise you i will go back i try to diligently check my comments at all times um please tell people about my channel have send your friends my way follow me on instagram as well as on my blog so that you can stay updated with all new um, blogs that come out every tuesday i have a blog and hopefully on friday i will start posting as well once the school year gets going and everything so keep god first again in everything you do give this video a thumbs up and click that red button it's absolutely free and hit that bell so you'll get notifications when i do new videos happy planning and teaching you guys Bye.